So here we have the new XT3. This is very, very hot product, right? It is, very hot product. So it's available in uh, black. It's all, uh, also available in silver. Um, and you can buy body only or with a kit with the 80 to 55 lens. And so what is this lens here? So this is the new 80 16 mm lens, um, uh, f2.8. It's one of our red badge lenses. It's very wide. Yeah, 8 to 16 is the widest constant zoom aperture we've got. But is it autofocus or not? Oh yeah, all, auto, all our lens autofocus and weather sealed as well. And uh, uh, so this, this product is very exciting because it has uh, a lot of new features. For example, it does stuff like uh, a huge burst. Yes, so you can either do 11 frames a second mechanical shooting, um, and it can go up to 30 frames a second using the electronic shutter as well with a, with a crop factor. So you can do a silent shooting uh, like uh, those, those cameras are like the Sony A9 which costs 4500 This can do the same but it's much more affordable. Correct, yes. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of photographers but also video people are interested in this one. Yeah. It has 4K60. Correct. And this uh, it's the first camera on the APS-C camera with 4K60p. Uh, and you can see all the... Uh, and the, the menus are some of the best also on the market. Some of the best menus in the market too, right? Absolutely. Um, we've got our film simulation modes. We have, we have um, the direct dials here at the top, which are easily to accessible through the video, bracketing, continuous shooting. And then you have advanced filter modes and panoramic. Here we have the metering on this side, spot metering and, and average or center weighted. But the cool thing is you have these direct styles here as well, where they can lock in, you press the button, you can change the shutter speeds as well. And the same with the ISO ratings on this side as well. So it's the best kind of like a handling in the market, right? I would say so. I think it's very quick handling because you can change your ISO, your shutter and your aperture. So you have the, the triangle here of different things that you can change very, very quickly. There's a lot of uh, photographers that love it. Yeah. They love this handling, this uh, being able to, it's, ca it's kind of a retro camera. It's classic, it's like using an old film camera for example. So uh, people that like, talk about the handling and the capabilities of a camera, these are the three fundamentals in photography which you need to change quickly. Those are the three most important ones? Yeah. ISO, ISO shutter speed and aperture. An aperture you're doing on a lens? On the lens. All like, the lenses have it? Uh, yes. All lenses. All lenses. Yeah. All right. And uh, the autofocus is improved also. It's 10 times faster than the X-T2. Um, we have a new sensor, new processor. And the new processor especially is, uh, is improved the focusing very much. And uh, it has uh, something that Canon and Nikon don't know how to do. It's a dual card slot. Dual card slot. Why don't they do it? Uh, ask them. Ask them, yeah. <laughs> so right here, dual card slot. They're both UHS-2. Yeah. Correct. So, um, is that a secret? Who's, uh, what sensor is this? Who's making it? Is your design? It's our design, your yeah. Design? Are you going to ask me if Samsung make it? Yeah. Is it? No. You, you, are you not allowed to say or you say no? No, Samsung doesn't make the sensor. I don't make it. 100%. All right. I see all the rumors on the website, but no. Samsung the, do not make the sensor. Who's doing the FujiRumors.com? It's not you, right? No, not me. It's not you. All right. And uh, so it has mic input, uh, headphone jack. Yes, all, on the, all in the camera. And the Type-C is also used for charge. Yes. But um, uh, you cannot store the videos or anything directly on there. No, no, no. This is for charging. You can have an external power pack and charge it and use that camera there. So how many people ask you to uh, make the, the display flip on the side? Yeah, it's been a, a big, a big uh, criticism, let's say. People want the, the flip out screen. That's one of the things, right? And the battery is still the same as before? The same as before, but because the sensor processor is, is less power hungry, we get more shots and it increases about 10, 20%. Or oh, you can use a grip and you can have a double, right? Or more yeah. than double? Nearly a thousand, yeah, three batteries, so nearly a thousand frames. So now just use a grip, you can have very long video. Right. And then, uh, uh, so there's gonna be some firmware updates a lot? Yes, I'm sure there'll be firmware updates coming soon. Maybe some of the things people are asking for might get added, right? Potentially, yeah. Like, we all, look, there's a food. few things people ask for example, I can just mention the uh, the FAT32 XFAT potentially or something like that, right? Well, the thing about Fujifilm, we always listen to our customers and we listen to what goes on online. So if we can improve my firmware, we will look at it and we'll do our best to improve that. But you can improve the hardware by firmware updates? Of course you can. No. Okay. So what's the price? Um, so in the UK, it's 13.49 body only. 
and the kit is 16.99. How many lenses do you have on this uh, system? Uh, at the moment now we have um, 20, 29 lenses and we have another three coming. So it's definitely the best APS-C? We believe so, yeah. It's the best APS-C system in the marketplace, yeah. All right. Cool.